There has literally never been a better time to build a Shopify business than today, regardless of how much competition there is out there, how much product saturation. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can utilize AI to scale a seven-figure Shopify store. Now, my name is Ari and I own a variety of companies related to Shopify. And one of them is a marketing agency where we run meta ads and we've been able to scale tons of Shopify brands to pretty wild levels from early beginnings. Now, we've been able to do that also through our holding company too with some of the stores that we own, but I'm gonna give you the exact step on how you can actually launch and scale a Shopify store with AI. So I'm gonna give you some of our AI tools that we use right now that are gonna be super effective for you. Now, the first step I will say is doing proper market research and product research and market positioning and offer creation and ad creation, okay? So this is kind of the downside of Shopify is that it's actually not the easiest business to get into. I know a lot of beginners or a lot of gurus will tell you it's like passive income or whatever. It's not, it's not passive income. It's not easy. You gotta master a variety of skills here, but guess what? AI makes it so much easier for you to do this. Literally two years ago, you would not be able to launch your store as easily with as much confidence as you can today. So these are all the things that you're gonna need in order to scale your store, but also to properly launch. So we'll start there, right? Now, market research. One of the reasons why I like to say market research before product research is because market is the most important thing when it comes to your Shopify success. You could be selling the most amazing product in the world, but if it's in a market that nobody cares about, it's just gonna be 10 times harder to sell. So let me give you an example. Actually, with my team, we've built an entire software that helps with this because it's such a big problem for people where you can actually find ideas like this. And we also have built an accelerator around it where you can find courses, lectures. Uh, you know, We have a Discord with weekly calls. It's super fun, it's amazing, but you don't have to join that. Just follow the steps in this video. Uh, right here, for example, you can even just copy this idea if you wanted to. I'm actually thinking about doing a challenge, again, using some of these uh, market ideas. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do that. But as you see, the electric screwdriver trend is absolutely massive. So this is a market with a very big amount of demand despite it not being like the biggest market in the world, this is actually a pretty big market, right? A lot of people use screwdrivers in their homes and need these tools. So we can see that there's a ton of demand behind it, right? Now, that's part of the market research. We can keep it extremely simple, just find a market with a starving crowd where there's a lot of demand, right? So that's the market. Now let's move on to the product research, right? Let's actually find a product. And by the way, this is back tested trends as well. So we do utilize AI a decent amount in our Shopee Lab Accelerator platform. We can also use a competitor finder here, but I don't wanna talk about this too much. I really don't want you to you know, think I'm just trying to sell you something here. I genuinely want you to build your business and then eventually hire us to help you scale it uh, even further, right? That's what the agency primarily does. Now, once you find your market, right, you wanna actually find your product. So let me just use AliExpress as a very simple example here. Although I recommend that you utilize a private sourcing agent if you're gonna be drop shipping, or of course just order this, you know, find a manufacturer on Alibaba and order in bulk to a third party uh, fulfillment warehouse if you wanna have the fastest shipping possible or even just to Amazon. But we're just gonna keep it very risk free and simple. So we're gonna use one of these products on AliExpress. Now this one right here has incredible reviews. People absolutely love it. And as you see, it's $27. So what I would suggest is that you charge 3X, a 3X markup. Now that may sound like a lot to some of you, but this is gonna be extremely important when it comes to actually launching with meta ads, which is what I suggest. That's part of the step process here. And again, that's what we have the most experience with at Akemi, so that's why I recommend it. We've seen brands literally scale to a million dollars a month from zero with just meta ads. So it's extremely powerful. Now, of course, you wanna pick products that people like. That's kind of important, okay? So once you have a great market, you wanna pick products that 
you know, you're not going to have a ton of issues with. There may be some issues with this. And of course, you don't need to perfect your product right off the bat, but you want to find products that are useful for people. That's the minimum requirement for building a decent business is that the product is actually useful. So these products look extremely useful and people really love them. Now, you may think, OK, once you find your product, right? So we have product, we're doing product research. We found this product. Now we want to look up, you know, on Google as well, see all other competitors and we can see a lot of them. And in fact, we can see someone selling this exact same product for thirty eight dollars. So some of you guys that are perhaps beginners, you might be thinking, oh, no, you know, these guys are selling it for thirty eight dollars and it's going to cost me twenty seven dollars right to ship this and, and to sell it. That's like a ten dollar margin. That's not going to work. Well, this is why I told you try to sell this at a 3x markup, right? So we want to sell this most likely for something like 80 to $90. Now, how can you do that when there's people selling this for $38, right? You might be thinking, oh no, that's not going to work, right? These guys are just going to win. But believe it or not, that's actually a huge misconception. You don't want to compete on price. You want to compete on value. You want to be the best option for your customer in terms of value, right? So as you see, these guys are talking about, okay, fix, assemble, repair with ease, um, five torque settings, handle every DIY product project. So they're going after this features angle, right? This is more about people who just really love tools. But here is the key, and this is a huge AI step that you need to follow. Use ChatGPT or any AI large language model that you use. I'm going to use ChatGPT in this example and ask for unsaturated angles. This is a huge, huge key. And this is what gives us a lot of success with clients is that despite them having, for example, let's say uh, su um, the supplement niche, right? I'm not talking about supplements today because everybody talks about supplements these days. And unfortunately, when it comes to China supplements, there's a lot of risk that you're running by doing that. A lot of them don't actually have the ingredients that they say they do. So you could get in trouble, but that's besides the point. Um, I just want to give you more useful product ideas as well. So how you sell uh, products in an un in, a, in a saturated market is by finding unsaturated angles. So as you see here, here's five. I asked it to give me five unsaturated angles that I can use for meta ads to sell an electric screwdriver. And as you see, you know, perfect for small jobs, no more wrist pain, kit proof assembly, minimalist tools. You could build an entire Shopify business off of just one of these angles. And as you see, the minimalist tool and gadget lovers are freaking out about this. Perfect for small jobs. These are the angles that the competitor is going for, right? You can see it very, very clearly, right? Um, and that's fine. You know, that's, that's good, right? Whatever. But how can we beat them? Well, let's go after a totally different angle. Let's go after the wrist pain angle. Let's sell this to people that struggle with wrist pain and make everything around that. So once you do that, right, once you figure out which angle you want to go for, then the next step is that's the market positioning, right? So we figure out a product, we figured out the market, then we figured out a product, then, the, then we figure out what's going to be our market positioning. Now, once you do that, right, so right away, once you have that market positioning, that already allows you to charge more than the competition because it's more specific to a demographic, right? It's more specific to someone. It's just a more unique market positioning. I mean, it's pretty simple. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for you. Um, and by the way, the reason why I created this accelerator and software, first of all, is because I love it. I use this all the time. In fact, I even kind of want to see what these guys are doing in terms of uh, revenue and where they're targeting. This is another feature within here. So they're actually popping off. See, this is really good to see, right? Uh, and we can see they're getting most of the traffic from the US and Ireland, which is pretty interesting, actually. I have seen Ireland get good results on some of the ads that we run too. But that's not really the point here. Um, what I wanted to say is that the reason we're building this accelerator is because, of course, I know my team is incredible at strategy. Uh, I know I'm amazing at research, and that's what this software is kind of like the epitome of it. Um, but I'm only one person, right? So an accelerator, you join an accelerator to get coached and helped to build your business, right? But the goal for me is actually to invest in your business. I want to you know, buy a stake in the businesses that you build through our uh, 
through our tools, through our community, so that I can also continue to build my portfolio, my holding company of e-com stores. That's my goal. So just transparently, that's what the accelerator is for. So you can really build your business with our help, our software, our data, our research, our skilled team, but then also so that I can become a part of your business in one way or another. I want to invest in your business um, so that we can all grow together. But now that we have right this market positioning and that al alone is going to allow us to charge more, we can go into the offer creation, which is really where you just want to give people the most value possible to justify the increased price. So what are ways that you can uh, make a better offer? I mean, there's tons of ways, right? But one of the easiest ways is just to simply add more products. So, you know, if you're going to be selling a screwdriver, perhaps another thing you could do is sell a wristband that has like a magnet, right? So that you can keep all your nuts and bolts nicely in there and you can offer that for free to your customers. And then on top of that, you could even offer a mystery gift. People really love mystery gifts these days. So you could just offer another really cool tool, right? That just makes sense to sell with this. Um, we actually saw in yesterday's video that Labubus, they're now a one point, well, the company Pop Mart that launched Labubus, they're a $1.8 billion a year company. And one of the biggest things that helped them grow is this mystery gift angle. So utilize that in your offer creation, right? That alone is going to help you charge more. Now, the next step, now that you have a really nice offer, is ad creation, right? So literally just launching your ads with Meta. And in two videos ago, I showed you our exact ad strategy that we utilize to launch ads. Um, you can also find it in here. We have a Meta Ads OS course uh, within the Shopee Lab platform. But long story short, we keep it very simple. We want to keep it broad and let our creatives do the targeting. So in this case, right, we know that we want to go after this one angle. The first one, this is our market positioning, no more risk pain. So what I did is I just gave it an image of this and told it to use the first marketing angle. Um, it didn't actually do it that well, <laughs> but this is just an example, right? Of course, you're going to have to fidget with this. Uh, mess around with it, make sure that you get all the right angles, the best types of ads. But believe it or not, just simple headlines work. Okay, simple headlines with static images can work extremely well. Um, of course, though, if you want to go above and beyond, you can go on TikTok and try to find videos of people using this product and kind of integrate that into your marketing. You can create scripts. There's a lot of nuance. I can't get all into it in this video, um, but ultimately, you can also order the product, right? So this is probably not going to take too long. Uh, even through AliExpress, you'll probably get it in a couple weeks. You can wait a couple weeks. I mean, of course, ideally you launch sooner, but I know I'm talking a lot and kind of just going off on some tangents here, but ideally what you want to do is actually not just sell this one product, right? But also, but you want to build a tool store, right? Like a store around these kinds of products so that if this one fails or that so that let's say you do want to order it and go really hard at making this work so that you can actually use that data and compound it to launch other products create more offers etc so that's the next step you want to create your ads and i would recommend you make as many ads as you can static ads video ads try to make at least 10 to 15 ads if you can that will be perfect then you want to launch it $100 a day is a sufficient budget. You could do 50 if you're really on a budget. Uh, $100 gets the job done. 200 is also great, but 100 will be just fine. Then you just want to optimize. So this is what's amazing. Omnisend, this is our email marketing partners. I love Omnisend. I think they are the best product in the market right now because they are equal to the biggest people in the space, which is Clavio. Let's just say it. Uh, but at a fraction of the cost. So that's incredible. And now they have, they're utilizing a lot of AI in order to help you create email flows in the back end, which is just incredible. This is, this can literally make you 20 to 30% um, of revenue for your whole entire store, which that can literally be your entire profit, right? So a lot of people think e commerce is a very unprofitable, um, you know, business and it's because they don't they don't follow these things right they don't get this deep they just launch a product with meta ads and then just pray but this is what the best clients that we have at akemi right this is what our blueprint for them is 
is to set all of these things up because of course, you know, running ads is great, but you can make your business a, a machine, you know, by setting these things up. So email and SMS, you want to use OmniSend for that. They have a lot of AI features within it, AI assistance so that you can actually make your flows, make your pop-ups, all these things that are really going to help you. And then this is a secret tool, not secret. Actually, I talk about it all the time, um, but an AI ad comment agent. This is super important because believe it or not, right? Let me take a look at one of these brands, right? So Fantic, this is actually one of the biggest brands in this space. I've been seeing them on TikTok shop. They are crushing it, even though their landing page is kind of ugly. So that goes to show how good this market actually is. They are responding to only 29% of their page replies. And I know this because Smart Reply is the AI agent that we use and the one that we actually recommend all of our clients to set up because guess what? If they responded to 100% of the comments, guess how much more revenue that would give them and also how much more customer satisfaction that would give them um, and also how much that would affect the ad ROI and the overall metrics of your ads just by simply replying to every single comment. It's stupidly simple. So I highly suggest everybody set this up. It takes five minutes and it's going to help you take this number from, you know, 29% of page replies to 100%. And remember, each customer interaction helps, even if you don't think so, right? These things compound. If you have an AI agent 24-7, you know, handling your comments for every ad and your DMs, all of these things that are kind of easy to miss. Unfortunately, Meta doesn't make it easy for you to respond to these things. It's raining outside, by the way. Um, hopefully you can hear it. It sounds kind of relaxing. But Meta doesn't make it easy. We are Meta partners. So like my agency is actually partnered with Meta. We, we, their threshold is like, I don't know, we, we have the highest tier, which is like $4 million in ad spend. And we're in there. So you can trust me when I say this. Meta is a little bit tricky sometimes. And people don't think about optimizing Meta on sort of the back end, right? So these are kind of things that are gonna help you optimize your meta ads so that you can actually push your budgets more, which will help you optimize more, but while still being profitable. It's a lot of stuff here. I mean, I don't wanna confuse you too much. I don't wanna give you analysis paralysis, but this is really the blueprint, right? So you can use AI for so much these days, but really I would just say, keep it simple. Use it, of course, to find the best trends possible. That's, you know, the best thing ever. Uh, is that we've built these incredible tools, but also use it to find, once you do find these markets, unique positioning within these markets, and then utilize it to make you ad scripts, to make you static images, right? And then utilize it to make you emails, right? E you know, automate your entire backend so that when you do acquire a customer or when you acquire somebody that adds to cart, you're maximizing that opportunity. And then of course, similarly with AI, set it up for your social media so that every customer touch point, every time they somebody comments on one of your ads, one of your pages, uh, or even when somebody DMs you, messages you on Facebook, you're maximizing that opportunity. That's pretty much it. So through those things, you're gonna start compounding your business. Again, you know, try to not overthink it too much. But at the same time, don't just launch things loosely and like throw spaghetti at the wall, right? And hope it sticks. Try to be a little bit more precise with it. Um, again, this is kind of the checklist that we're putting people through in the accelerator, uh, but even our clients, right? Because of course we do work with brands that are already generating revenue at my agency, but we, you know, it's really smart to continuously launch new products. Um, so you want to kind of run through this checklist for new products as well, even if you already are generating revenue. So you can find links to a lot of the things that I mentioned in the description. So these are easy tools that you can utilize and an easy process that you can follow. Of course, please do not neglect the comment section of the videos. I answer every single comment myself. So, you know, if you want more information about something, if you want, to ask any questions, just ask them in the comments. Don't neglect it. And that's pretty much it. Peace.